Um, hello, and welcome back to the Paper Soprano Podcast. I am your host, and my name is Heidi. And today, I know we've had a bunch of guests in the past couple episodes, y'all, but it is just me and you today. And sorry if you're disappointed. (laughs) But um, yeah, nothing crazy going on here. I feel like... Um, these past couple of days have been a little bit weird just because, like, you know, recovering from, like, a national crisis is always kind of tough. You know how it is. (laughs) And I'm, like, I'm making fun of it in a, you know, whatever. But, like, for real, it is kind of just weird. I've been, I've been surrounded by media and you know constant like I get these weird updates I don't even know how to turn them off it's like weird breaking news updates through Facebook and I'm like god I can't trust this and like but then it's also like true facts sometimes because I look on other sources like things about you know more articles of impeachment are coming out and like blah blah or like just you know more you know what I mean (laughs) um but there's just, you know, there's there's all these videos now that I've been seeing of people getting kicked off of flights, which is good, like no-fly terrorists, which is what these people are. They're a threat to the country's security. Um, and seeing people getting, like, kicked off of planes, and it's just, like, it's surreal because in a way you're like, whoa, I can't believe this is happening. But in, like, your logical brain, you're like, yeah, good, yeah, this is repercussions that should be happening because like if there were no repercussions that would also be very strange it would be like what how can this how can this go on um but anyway oh god it's just sometimes I I marvel at the fact that so many people are like just existing right now and how difficult that is for like the American morale and what I mean by that is like so much of at least my childhood and and my young adulthood has been prided on like continuously going and like never stopping and and just like you do not you do not get to take breaks you don't take naps like you work through your lunch sometimes you don't take your vacation days like that was that was like a good thing and like it was looked down upon to like rest and like not do anything or if you were injured and you were on unemployment it was like you were like a savage and it was like oh my god oh i can't believe you're doing that you're cheating the system like oh you know it's like uh, but that's what the system's there for to help people if they need it and like now when we all need the system so desperately it's like it it can't support us and it and we're all just kind of like whoa yeah hello like stressful but also stressful in like a really stagnant way um I don't know if you were in a similar bubble as I was when I was growing up but it was very kind of similar to now how some of the young people that I see like on Instagram and YouTube and like vloggers and stuff they're like oh yeah grind never stops grind never stops gotta do your side hustles gotta get it like let's go and I totes like agree with that in a way but also I'm like oh god it is just so exhausting the grind has to stop at some point And if it doesn't, like, you will just get ground down eventually. And, like, you will just stop because you're unable to continue. And that's... Oof, God, that's scary to think about. But it's like... I don't know. If if I'm learning anything right now, it's that... There is an art to resting. And I know that sounds so dumb... But, like, for real, I even just today, I wasn't necessarily feeling super well rested from last night's sleep, right? Okay, get this. (laughs) 
little TMI, but it's it's almost my my time of the month here, and I usually get very tired, and it's not TMI. You need to talk about periods. They're fine. Everything's fine. Half of the world has one literally every single month. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, just trying to normalize that conversation because it really should be, and it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So here I am talking about it. Um, so I get tired, as many of my fellow women do. And I didn't have a great night's sleep last night. I don't know why. I think my allergies are like a little bit messing up because I actually took some poinsettias home with me from the church that I sing at. And oh yes, they smell very strongly. And I immediately put them outside and I was like, sorry girl, looks like you're going to have to die because my... (laughs) My allergies cannot handle this in a studio apartment, having two poinsettia plants in here. So, um, I was a little bit, like, runny and, like, not, not stuffy, but you know when your nose is just kind of, like, not optimal for breathing? And I, I personally have lots of problems with, like... I don't know. I was on, like, Nasonex as a kid. Like, I was prescribed, like, nose sprays and stuff. I don't know really what the issue is there. But I use, if I can, like, a little nasal strip. Like, I used to, like, I, like, tape it on <laughs> like a Band-Aid. Like, I stick that thing on there because, like, I want... I just, I sometimes just feel like I can't breathe, you know? I need to, I need things to be opened up. That's just what I want. So I usually sleep with those and the past couple nights I've had like a box of them and I I try to like conserve them if that makes any sense even though I literally got a box of them at the Dollar Tree the last time I got some. Um, But I didn't have one last night and it shows, girl. So uh, I didn't have a great night's sleep last night and I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my god, I'm just exhausted and... Um, you know, I'm not feeling like super well rested. I feel like cranky and, and just not good. So went through my day, whatever. I knew I wasn't sick, obviously. Um, so I went about my day and yeah, I I got back home here around two o'clock and I was like, okay, I'm going to lay down because I didn't get a good night's sleep last night and I'm going to lay down and I'm going to take a nap because I don't have anything to do until like 6.30. So I decided that and then I like, you know, I was like fussing around on my phone and like scrolling for a little bit and I was like, this is not working. I'm not relaxing. I'm still tired and annoyed. Like, So even though it was really scary for me and I'll explain why in a second, I completely just like turned off my phone and like, and just just laid there in the silence. Now, for me, that is excruciating. I didn't put on any music. I did not have like a guided meditation going. I did not have like any sleep sounds going. It was just silent. And I've been trying to do that sometimes. This is really sad. Get ready. Sometimes I will set a timer and I will tell my my phone to set a timer for like one minute or five minutes where I will not have anything playing, no music, no, I won't put a record on, I won't do anything, I won't be listening to like a past lesson or, you know, something. I'll just put on a timer and I'll be like, hey girl, set a timer for five minutes and I will be like, listen, if you can just do five minutes of silence, I think that will help you. Like, It's sad, and I know it's a problem. I just don't understand. I think my brain has a problem with silence, and I think that it has to do with, like, uh, just, like, discomfort in general, and I'm constantly looking to, like, not have any thoughts and just have something constantly be, like, in the background so that it's not, so I don't have to, like, think about anything, you know what I mean? Because when I do think about things, nine times out of ten, girl, it's it's a bad situation. <laughs> and I will end up very upset most of the time. So, 
Yeah, dude. And trust me, don't get me wrong. Like, don't don't come for me and be like, oh, my God, like, I think you need help. Blah, blah, blah. Girl, I'm already getting it. OK, I know things aren't great right now. We're also in a pandemic and there's problematic things happening in the world. I personally also just went through something very traumatic in my own life. And um, all of those things combined make for a, like, spontaneous combustion, really. And I, I am feeling like there has been a sort of, like, phoenix rising out of the ashes type thing, but not anything crazy. Like, I'm not trying to be like, I'm amazing, I'm doing great. Don't worry about me, I'm doing great. Like... Because, you know, I'm not doing great. No one's doing great. Okay? Like, I'm doing okay and good for the circumstances. And I want to encourage people to also acknowledge that you might not be doing great right now. And if you are, if you think you're doing great, great. You just need to live your life, girl. Keep it going. But if you think, like you know, you're doing okay, it's okay to, like, celebrate that you're doing okay, and, like, oh, that reminds me, <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, enjoy that, enjoy that cup of tea, like, have a good time, you know, walking around the block, or, like, enjoy moving your body, doing an exercise, or, you know, dancing to music, or, um, you know, enjoy things, do enjoy things, just because you're having a difficult time in your life, doesn't mean you cannot still enjoy things, you know? And hold on, I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea really quick, so you're just gonna have to wait. Can you just, can you just, just, just wait right there, okay? I'm just pouring a cup of tea. It's been steeping for all this time, it's gonna be so strong. Also, don't even really know if you can hear me or not. Oh, I think you could. You could probably hear me throughout that whole thing, couldn't you? <laughs> okay, well, I made... Ooh. <sighs> a little ASMR for ya. <laughs> I made a cup of tea, and it's pretty good. It's like, um... I mixed a bunch of bags together, like three different bags, and I do this all the time, and I really do like it. One of them was like an orange citrus, lemon orange... And then another one was like spicy ginger. And then another one was like ginger mint. And all of those things put together, probably not that great of an idea, Heidi. But did I do it? Yes, I did. And honestly, it's not too bad. It kind of, you know what it kind of tastes like? I, I get a little bit, of, <laughs> I get a little bit of like expensive shampoo. And I'm, I'm weirdly, like, okay with it. Do you ever have those, like, urges to eat things that are not food? Like, I know that people were, like, up in arms about the Tide Pod thing, but, like, come on, I get it. Like, those things look like gushers. Come on. So now I'm just, like, living out my shampoo dreams, I guess. But, okay, what was I just talking about? Good lord. Um, yeah, so, like, enjoy things. And here's something that I've been doing, um, recently, which I saw, I think I saw it on, like, a, one of those, like, Instagram reels, which I know is just TikTok, and, like, it doesn't really, there's no real difference, but I don't have the app, I don't have the TikTok app, but I saw it on one of those things, and it was like, oh, yeah, something that I do to try and, um, you know, like, be better at self-care is because because I'm a people pleaser something that I do better is is I try and please like my future self in a way so stick with me like you get it you know like you're always as a people pleaser it's like you're always trying to do something for someone else so it's like easy for you to do those things like I always have more of a fun time you know oh god hello <laughs> I have more of a fun time, like, sending people letters or, like, buying people gifts or, 
um, you know, doing somebody's dishes or doing a, like getting somebody a coffee or something. <sighs> but I, I sometimes have trouble doing those things for myself. Good God. We're just going to have to take a sip through these barkings. <laughs> I just moved my desk over a little bit in my apartment. So my desk is on, is good for me, like right in front of the window. Um, but I think the dogs can hear me a little bit more when I'm making any sound in this apartment. <laughs> so I think that's why they're barking a little bit more. But um, yeah, so I've been trying to do that. I've been trying to like say it to my head like I'm gonna do this for future Heidi I'm gonna do this task for future Heidi I'm going to um you know I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna you know put this away I'm going to clean this I'm going to you know I I don't know I'm gonna like shave my legs for future Heidi you know what I mean like and as weird as that sounds it really does in a way kind of help me to like categorize it in my brain um yes we know we know rough 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 bow wow ra 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 <laughs> um but yeah so i also i also did that in a way today which was really funny to me because i went to Savers. And if you don't know what Savers is, it's like a secondhand store where you can donate items and get like a coupon. And I actually forgot to get a coupon today. I did donate things to them, but I forgot. Um, they were really busy, so that had something to do with it. But Savers is a really cool place, and it's basically like a big giant... Um, like a big giant garage sale, if you will. And everything's just really well organized and it's, you know, it's set up like a consign or like a, like a department store. It's set up like that. So it is like the main place that I shop for clothing and shoes and everything. Like pretty much anything that I need, I will say to myself, can I get this at Savers? Like dishes, um... You know, sometimes they have small pieces of furniture there, like mirrors, or sometimes they have cool little art pieces. Um, sometimes they have cool books. They have a lot of um, records. Uh, just a lot of things that you would expect a thrift store to have. And it is truly a thrift store. Like, none of this, none of this Long Island thrift nonsense. None of these, like, high-end thrift stores. Mm-mm, girl. No, thank you. If something is like over $12, like a single item, it doesn't really even matter what it is. I'm like, ooh, that's a little pricey for me. No, thank you. Like, it is not uncommon for me to go there and only buy things that are less than $5 each. And that goes for shoes, clothes, you know, anything that I just listed. And that's that's why my standards are so high for like, prices of things I don't know I just I feel very strange spending money like spending like 30 or 40 dollars on a pair of pants what <laughs> it just it's just crazy to me like I just I just don't agree I I wholeheartedly disagree so anyway I went to Savers today and I was living my thrifty life I love that place to no end and, oh, God, it is sometimes so telling that I am not that great at, like, doing things for myself. And what I realized is that I have been wearing the same winter coat, which, honestly, I wouldn't even really consider this a winter coat. It was more of, like, a, like, you know, those, like, army green jackets that cinch at the waist, and they're kind of thin, they're kind of like a fall jacket kind of deal, but I've just been wearing it, because Long Island isn't necessarily that cold, but I was like, you know what, I need a new jacket, and I looked down at the one that I'm wearing, and it's, like, faded, it was, it was crazy, it was like a movie, I was, like, finally realizing that this jacket was way old, and I was like, oh, the, the sleeves, like, the seams on the sleeves were, like, worn 
down and ripping and there were threads everywhere. I was like, how did I not notice this before? There were like stains on it. I'm like, oh God, like what do I look like to people? Because I wear this coat every day, girl. And so I got this really nice coat and it's like a big fluffy guy. And um, it's currently sitting in my car along with all of the other things that I got. I got two new pairs of shoes, girl. And I'm super excited because right now I can see all of the shoes in my closet. And we have one, two, three. We have six pairs of shoes to my name. So that's all my heels. That's all my sneakers. And currently... I do not have any, like, everyday shoes. Like, I needed some, like, you know, cute little booties kind of deal. So I got two pairs of those, and they were a little bit pricey. One of them was, like, $16, but I splurged because <laughs> when I got home, I actually wore a pair of combat boots today that I have had probably since high school. And I... I'm, I cannot make this stuff up, you guys. Literally, I cannot make this up. I go to take them off, right? And you do that thing where you, like, put your he your your toe against your heel and you, like, um, you know, you, like, slide the shoe off that way. You're, like, kicking it off. And I go to put my toe on the heel of this combat boot and the entire sole just rips right off of the shoe. So the, the whole bottom, like, the rubber bottom of the shoe just ripped right off. <laughs> And I was, like, kind of in shock because I'm like, oh, my God, my my things, my items are just, like, deteriorating. And in a way, I'm kind of proud because I do wear things, secondhand items. I wear secondhand items until they literally fall apart. <laughs> and, you know, I, I love that about me. I think that's really nice and I think that's really thrifty. I think it's good for my... Um, you know, like, eco footprint, and it's also good for my wallet, and, like, I find very unique items this way, but also sometimes I think when I get into, like, a groove of life, kind of like the past four years, <laughs> um, I've just kind of been lowering my standards of, like, buying things for myself, because I was so consumed with, like, doing things for others and not even not even like buying things for myself like oh my god I need this new like purse or whatever but like literally like I need a new purse like the one that I have is literally broken and the zippers don't work and it's falling apart and there's like there's like chips of it like coming off of all the metal pieces and like that kind of like you need to buy yourself something you know what I mean and I go back and forth about it in my brain a lot because I'm like, oh, you need this item. You really do need it. It's a necessity for you to have something to carry your keys and your wallet and your, you know, all of your items in. You need a purse. And literally this one at Savers is like $6 and you can afford that. And in my brain, I'm like, mm, I don't know, maybe I should try to keep this one a little bit longer. Like, why am I like this? Like, why am I such a trash person? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just very strange to me, but I, I did get some new things and I'm, I'm very excited. New to me things. I, I don't like buying brand new items. I like secondhand things. Um, but I got some new, new to me items and I'm going to, I'm going to take the coat to the dry cleaners and get it cleaned and I'm going to leave the other items in my car, maybe maybe for like a whole 24 hours, just so I know that there's not anything crazy, you know, no crazy germs. I usually do that anyway with my clothes when I get things from Savers. I usually leave it in the car and then I'll bring everything in and like wash everything and whatever. Um, so don't worry. I know things are secondhand and I know that this is like a pandemic. Trust me, your girl is very safe. And... Also, things don't really, COVID doesn't really exist on surfaces from what the CDC has expressed to us. So, um, yeah, hold on. I need a sip of this weird tea. 
I also just got an email and that um, stresses me out. Okay. So, yeah, you guys, that was my day. And I actually, going back to the nap thing, I actually did lay there for a while, although it's cold today, so I was, like, freezing for a lot of it. And, like, you know when you just can't get comfortable because your feet are cold and, like, you're freezing and you're using, like, a knitted blanket that's, like, got holes in it, you know? <laughs> not holes, like, not what I was just saying about how all my things have, hol have holes in them and they're de deteriorating. Like, this is literally, like, a crocheted blanket and, like, it literally just has holes by design. So, um, but that is on my list of getting something. I would... The only things that I don't get from Savers are blankets, like bedding, um, obviously like bras and underwear because they don't sell those things, and socks, and, you know, I don't, I, they have like weird like hair tools and stuff and like appliances, but I don't, you know, we, we have to draw the line somewhere, you guys. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, that was today, and I'm pretty excited and I think that also I am kind of acknowledging that sometimes, I guess what people would call like self-care, like <laughs> it presents itself in different ways, especially for me. And honestly, oh God, I hate the word self-care. I don't, I don't know why I hate it. I think it's probably because it's used in such a weird way by like BuzzFeed articles and like um marketing you know it's just <sighs> self-care is not face masks and like sitting in a bubble bath for six hours like that's not what I need to like care for myself I need like therapy <laughs> and I'm doing that and like everybody should I think that therapy should be normalized and people should talk about their problems to someone because if you had problems with like your physical body and like your you were like having symptoms that you couldn't explain or you needed help with you would talk to a professional and a lot of the times people don't really know how to address their mental problems and yeah self-care just it's just sometimes it's making dinner for yourself instead of eating like pickles and like chips and hummus and bread and butter and sometimes it's sometimes self-care is like turning your phone off when you when you're trying to go to sleep and like that's not necessarily the most fun thing to do because your brain is like constantly craving stimulation and and escape from you know what it's dealing with but sometimes you really just need like silence and that's what your that's what care like that's what your prescription would be you know, or sometimes it's going outside. Sometimes it's moving, um, you know, like moving your body and, and exercising. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just varied, you know, and I think that people just, it gets under my skin when people are like, oh yeah, self-care Sunday. And they like show that like weird very strange, like, picture of their feet poking out of, like, a bubble bath with, like, a freaking candle. And it's like, really? Really is that bubble bath and candle, like, fixing all your problems? Is that really what you need? Because for, for me, it kind of just looks like some people take these pictures and post, like, self-care when they just want to, like, post a weird naked bathtub pic. And it's like, why are you doing this? Like, ugh, you know? But who knows? Maybe that's just for me. Maybe my self-care looks a little bit uglier than other people's. But in my experience, demons are not Instagram worthy. You know? Whew. But anyway, I'm going to go. And I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this podcast and you want to support it, go ahead, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Um, tell me in the comments what you do for self-care if you do that or if you are like, wow, yeah, I really, this, this podcast inspired me to go buy a new pair of 
socks because I keep wearing the same disgusting pair of socks that have a hole in the heel and you know they're literally deteriorating and I really need to get more socks you know if that if that inspires you today if that's all you took from this podcast congrats <laughs> I am I'm genuinely happy for you. Like I really hope you do buy new socks or whatever equivalent that is for you. Um yeah, you guys. So thanks for listening. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night whenever you are listening to this. This podcast is of course called The Paper Soprano Podcast, the only music podcast where also sometimes we don't talk about music at all. <laughs> And yeah, so I am your host and my name is Heidi, so you can blame me for all of the things that happen here. And thank you so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. It has been a pleasure to make these episodes every day. And I appreciate those of you who listen to these podcasts. Y'all are doing the Lord's work. <laughs> um, all right. I never know how to end these stupid things. I never know how to end this podcast. Um... Okay, I think I just, okay, love you, mean it.